Yes, yes, Massive Recruit back once again with another video and today we're going to look into a hardware sampler called the Emu E5000 Ultra. The Ultra samplers are bang on point, they're very fast compared to the other Emu samplers and today we're going to have a deep dive and see what's popping. So without further ado, let's get into the technical specs. Okay guys, here we have the Emu E5000 Ultra Sampler, billed as the most affordable emulator yet. The E5000 Ultra is Emu's contender in the middleweight professional sampler stakes and it's a force to be reckoned with. I've used this sampler first hand and it's a really nice smooth sampler. A lot of the previous Emu samplers like the non-Ultra versions, they're a bit slow and what I find with the Ultras, they're a lot faster. Um, let's have a quick deep dive into the sampler and see what the specifications are. So we've got polyphony, we've got 64 notes, we've got standard RAM, 4 megabyte, upgradable to 128 megabyte, 4 balance outputs on quarter inch jacks, 2 balance inputs, 20 bit delta sigma converters, MIDI channel 16, also upgradable to 32 MIDI channels, so you can have a couple of MIDI interfaces or have, you know, two sets of MIDI inputs going into it. Uh, presets 2000, 1000 RAM and 1000 internal flash. We have sequencer, 48 track with quantize and edit functions. We've got an appeggiator. We've got sample edit functions, utilities, cut, copy, paste, insert, truncate, taper, tools one, loop, loop type, digital tune, sample rate convert, tools two, DC left, right, swap, stereo mono conversion, reverse integrity, tools three, gain change, compression, parametric EQ, phase linear low pass, high pass and band pass filters, Aurel Exciter, for those of you who know the Apex Aurel Exciter, you know what that sounds like. Tools for transform manipulation, stereo Doppler, time shift, pitch shift, bit conversion, beat munging, All parameters have undo function, so it backs up to your hard drive or your external zip or whatever it is you're using and uses that as a buffer and does an undo function, which is pretty cool. Filters, 21 types of filters. Effects 24-bit programmable, two bus design, effects contain reverb and delay effects, 44 variations, effects B, chorus, flange, and digital distortion, 32 variations. Included CD-ROMs, if you're lucky you can get those. Expansional options, 16 outputs in ADAT board, approximately 429 at the time of this review. <laughs> Uh, probably a lot more now. A lot of this stuff's like rare, like rocking horse crap. Uh, D1 daughter board with word clock, ASCII keyboard connector. Great for those otherwise tedious sample name functions. An additional 16 channels of MIDI. You can also add an eSynth sound ROM containing 16 megabyte of standard instruments and digital waveform and 500 presets. Orbit fat sessions, which is cool. You can have your built in orbit fat sessions on there which is sick. That's like, you know, if people like the Emu Planet Fat and a, and a Planet Orbit, um, you can have that built into it, which is pretty cool. If you don't have one, you find the ROMs you're laughing. Hard drive mounting kit, extra eight analog outputs, R-chip multi-channel studio effects processor. The pros of this sampler, both hardware and software are easy to navigate. Got the beat munching facility. You've got filter options, relatively good value for money. The cons, so it doesn't give you much RAM as standard, but I'm sure you can upgrade that. So that's a minor limited extra goodies compared to the upmarket versions. And when we talk about the upmarket versions, we're talking about the E6400 Ultra. I used to have one of those back in the day. And believe me, they are banging samplers. Uh, we've done all the Joker series as a part tool. 
uh, alongside the Akai and um, other various outboard gears uh, to get the sound that we got through the Joker. So I would say it's a really good sampler overall and I would highly recommend it. It also contains the Z-plane filters, the morphine filters, which you get, you know, a standard with the Emu, which is also good. Uh, also offers a jukebox function and the ability to play back format zero and format one standard MIDI files, which is also handy if you're into that sort of thing. It can read S3000, S1000, S1100 and Roland S700 series samples, which is another cool thing also has the ability to export sounds as WAV and AIFF files. So this is quite a universal sampler. Now, assuming it should be compatible with Recycle, as far as I remember, uh, if not, you've got an, always got an Akai, you can connect up and recycle. It will read Akai files. Uh, it's got a nice SCSI connector that comes as standard, 50 pin SCSI connector, brilliant compatibility. Definitely something that makes ease of use and connecting. Uh, also, if you want to upgrade your memory, it takes standard SIMs, uh, which you can get if you look around on eBay. Uh, it has a 3.5 inch floppy drive. I did have a go at putting a GoTek drive in there. Uh, however, I found in general, the Emu's floppy drives seem a bit slower than the Akai's. So it's kind of not really worth me messing about with that any further because I found the read and write speeds were quite slow. Uh, comment down below if you've got a GoTech running on an Emu. Let us know, guys. Um, if you're getting anything out of this video, guys, please smash that like button. You'll really be helping me out with the YouTube algorithm and to help us grow the channel. Also, to let me know that you want to see more videos like this, reviewing various samplers and giving you demos of these cool devices guys another con that i found as well is when i was using uh samples imported from an akai sampler say for example you had to go into the voice settings and mess about with the polyphony otherwise you'll find if you use multiple samples they would literally cut out as you're playing kind of like mute groups on some of these uh you know uh, what they called machines and stuff like that up to date that you know where you want some things to chop out while you're playing others me personally i find it a little bit annoying i'd rather cut it out on the sequencer the unit ships with a number of sounds already available 1000 in ram and 1000 in flash memory now there's many other features in this sampler i'm going to demo the ones that i feel stood out the best check it out
a few renoise processings later. <laughs> Check out a couple of little beats that I made on this. This is jam number one. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you're liking the content and you're getting anything out of this video, please smash that like button for me and consider subscribing to the channel. You'll be really helping me out with the YouTube algorithm and also helping us to get to our next milestone, 11,000 subs. In this demo, guys, flicking through a few samples so you can hear a few elements from the song and then we're gonna just drop the tune. Got a loop, boom CD, boom bass, another break. Amen. Here we go. Okay, people, this video was three weeks in the making. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe. 
peace out to the next one. This is getting...